Hello, beautiful people. Welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, my name is LaKendra and the name of my channel is All Things Lux, a channel dedicated to fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you are a part of the family, the Lux family, thank you so much for rolling with me. I'm so happy to have you. Um, and let's get to it. So, if you are new, I'd ask that if you like me and you like my content that you would please subscribe. I'm really trying to grow my family and I would love to have you. We're doing positive, great things over here. Much love to everyone. That's what we're all about. And people who also enjoy luxury, fashion, like-minded people. That's what we're about. So today I am, I was asked by one of my lovely family members if I would do a review on what fits in my vintage Chanel bag. If this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. So if you missed my video on my five most used luxury items, I will post that so that you can see that. In that video, I discussed my very first Chanel purchase, which I am in love with, would never part with. Um, I purchased this pre-loved vintage, needed a lot of TLC. I sent it to the Chanel Boutique and the spa redid the leather, the hardware, the chain, and it's just a really, really nice piece. And I love it. So I told you guys when I was discussing this bag that I thought it was a small. And I said that because I never really compared it to my other bags. I, I just knew that it didn't hold a lot. So I have my, I'm also learning a lot guys to uh, like sharing things with you guys and I have to educate myself and so I was like let's see what the size is in comparison so I have this okay this is the beige flap and this is in the medium so when I compared the two, they are, they are different sizes. My black bag is a small, okay? And, and then this is a medium. I will put them so you can see the difference. all right so back to her let's discuss what's in her what actually will fit okay she 
has on the back, okay, she also has a pocket here that I have not ever used. It's not really user friendly for me. I think the only thing I could put in this is possibly um, if I wanted to put, I guess, you know, like my driver's license or um, room key, something like that. But it would have to be something that would just slide in the pocket. Okay. All right, so I open her up and she does have a zipper here, which is not at all functional. It's only for design. Okay. Oh, it does have a little bit here, uh, but I mean, there's really nothing you can stick in here. So, okay, so. You do have that zipper and then the flap inside she is packed let's discuss what is in her all right I have some gum here I have a makeup pack so if you want to just uh, look at yourself and you have a mirror okay I have that in here my phone and this is the iPhone 11 Pro I don't know if it's called a max or whatever but it's the uh, like largest one I also have in my Louis Vuitton Recto Verso that I also did an unboxing and a review on. Show you this. So I, okay, I want to, I'm going to get off course subject for just a second, but I'm going to loop back around. What do I think about this? I have had time to use it. I do like it. How I have made use of this front pocket is I put my driver's license in here because it's it's like really flat. The only function I would say is for is a for additional cards if you have any cards, uh, credit cards. I mean, I don't know some type of card if you want to. Uh, you could probably have uh, some dollar bills or any type of cash and you could fold it and stick it in here. But I have found that just putting my driver's license in here works like, uh, like best for me. And on the inside of uh, the zipper, I am also using this for cards. It will also Cash, I don't really have a lot of cash, or I don't carry a lot of cash on me. <laughs> I'm pretty much a card person. I think cash is nasty, dirty, um, and, and if you notice now in the pandemic, a lot of places, stores, also businesses are not taking cash. So I don't really carry a lot of cash, so that's okay. Um, and cards on the outside too. So I'm really liking this and I am using it. It was a good purchase. Um, it goes with everything that I have, so I like it. Back to, to the bag, <laughs> what fits in it. Um, I have my, I have my AirPods and in the lipstick holder, I have some lip chat. 
And guys, that's all that will fit in here. Nothing else. It's really bursting at the seams with anything else in it. But it will fit essentials and that's all I need if I'm, I'm like really carrying this. Um, I have not ever carried this as an everyday bag. Um, to take it out uh, like when I'm going shopping to the mall or if I am on a date with my husband. But besides that, she stays up and protected so I can preserve her for as long as I can. So guys, this was just a short video on what actually fits in her and what size this bag really is. And it is a small compared to my medium flap. Um, she, she the bag is cute, useful, and small, but it does carry the um, essentials, the stuff that you need. So if you're thinking about picking up one of these older bags, they have such character, love the hardware on these, so gorgeous um i would recommend it so that concludes my video i hope that you guys liked it and found it helpful um thanks so much for the suggestions on uh like what you would like to see me discuss and also share with you guys i really appreciate it um and I hope that you guys are doing well, taking care of yourself, and stay blessed. And I will see you in the next video.